My name is Goth Girl. I do female domination work mostly. This is my fifth or sixth year in sex work. My name is Peaches. I do primarily like financial domination and female domination type services. My name is Harley B. These days I write mostly and I've been doing it for five years now. I was 21 when I started selling nudes online to make money because I lost my job. The first time I considered it was the first time somebody else said it. They said something along the lines of like, that if you're doing this, then you are a sex worker. And it was just kind of one of those moments where I was like, oh, okay, cool. I've never felt ashamed of it. I don't really like the girls who are like, I'm not a sex worker. I just sell pictures of my feet. What do you think he's doing with those? It's sex work producing sex work in a time of only fans. You create a specific audience and you cater to them. It is a business. I'm not basing my worth based on if I'm attractive to men or not. I can still be sexy. I can show you the inside of my fucking butthole if I wanted, but you should still respect me as a person. I use my content to deal with my emotions and it's really easy to do that when you're a black queer woman. When George Floyd happened, a lot of my content and then started to be about educating people. I started enjoying making the content more and I started seeing a rise in like sales and stuff like that. There's definitely elements of exploitation in my work. Men wanting to get everything they can out of you. Sex is emotional, whether men want to admit it or not. And they will definitely try to treat you like you're a therapist because of the sex aspect in your job. I try to be like really low key when I go out in public. If I have like a bunch of vanilla socials, I'm putting myself at risk, but then also whoever I'm dating, whoever I'm friends with, my family, like I'm also putting them at risk too. I think the only exploitation that really happens is just the entitlement and cock arrogance of men. I think it's not necessarily that I feel that I am exploited. I just feel like other people feel as though they can exploit me. There's definitely a sisterhood with sex work. We all know the stigmas. It's harder for me to bond with people who don't know that I do sex work because it is who I am as a person. When I tell people I'm a sex worker, they're always like, wow, I would have never guessed. And I'm like, yeah, that's because sex workers are just normal people. Sex worker friends are the best friends because we're like choosing to be in an oppressed group. Like, are you a person? Are you a good one? Great. Sex work for me is work. I feel like the labor of selling sex can be overwhelming in some senses because there's so much. People really think that it's an easy job and it's easy money, but it's not. It's also doing a lot of research into kinks, BDSM and sex work. You have to like have a really good understanding of how people work. We're our own photographers, we're our own editors, we're our own social media marketers, we're our own accountants, we're our own everything. We do it, we turn up for ourselves every single day and if we don't turn up for ourselves, nobody else is going to. What is it, the movie Pretty Woman? I think it's popular because it's the bad girl gone good. I think that's why people enjoy it and don't see it as, oh my God, a sex worker. Like how gross and disgusting because it's a love story and it's shiny and pretty. We are always the villains and we're always the bad guys and we're always just big fucking whores who are riddled with STDs and, and nobody loves us and we're all alone. And if you're a sex worker with a kid, you should give that kid up to somebody who can raise it better than you can because you're just a whore. Selby, she's a fucking old street hooker. She's just using you. I'm unable to be truthful and honest with people I care about because they may never understand why I would rather be a sex worker online than do a different job. But it's the longest job I've ever had. And it's always been there for me. The only reason that you'd have a bad or poor opinion of sex work is because you have internalized misogyny and you should probably go to a therapist rather than projecting your problems onto me. They also just have this assumption that all sex workers are just sex workers because we've been trafficked or we have horrible drug addictions that we're trying to feed or we're homeless. I'm not a sex worker because I was horribly abused and my daddy didn't love me. I chose to do this. I love you. You belong to me. No. People don't belong to people. Anybody that's feeling like they want to be a sex worker, I would just say genuinely consider it first. If you're not willing to tell people that you're a sex worker, please do not become a sex worker. Terrible idea. Like, just because you're not a sex worker and I am, doesn't automatically mean that you're better than me. It doesn't mean that I'm gross, dirty, desperate. You don't like what you see? You don't need to sit there and waste my time. But so you're not going to help me. 
If you don't want to see stuff like this, stay off the internet. For a lot of people, it's just a job, and it doesn't have to change how we view that person because of what they do.